and I got with Cassie. If I can do it, you can. Um, go watch our course vlog from that one. But um, today we're gonna try and find out why I'm sometimes hitting it right and then the next shot I'm hitting it straight. So let's get into it. Okay, so here's what Cassie is talking about. She basically had a couple of shanks at the end of the Dartwin round. That one almost hit me, knocked it out of bounds. This one was about 30 yard or again, shank up the hill, almost hit the caddy and another one on the floor. So in the course of about the last four holes, she lost everything to get, and this was another OB. So, but at the same time, a shot later, or on a different hole, she'll play a shot like this, where she's totally connected and uh, really in control, as was this. This was a, a lovely shot, about 50 yards. Everything tempo, lands it right in the middle, 10 yard putt left. And just after having hit an OB earlier, she just knocks one right onto the green from that distance. So that's what we're talking about today. Nice shot. That is perfect. Oh, literally hit the, uh, the white pole, which is straight ahead. And that's the one that's happening. I think I was standing too close to that one. Okay, Cass, so we had one, two crackers and one that went directly left, right. What do you think happened? I think I was standing too close to it. Just that, okay. Let's see how we get on. Oh, there it is again. Two in a row. Are you standing too close to that one as well? So what was the reason there? No, okay, let's see if we can work it out. Let's keep doing it. Just a little bit short and right. Contact came off it. It looked like you just rushed the shot a little bit. Okay, so you've seen a couple of Cassies. She can hit the good shot, but then she loses a couple of, sort of almost shanked like to there. What I want her to remember to feel is that that move into the left heel, which brings her down through the shot, so she's not jumping up early. If she hasn't done that move, the trigger to transition, she tends to sort of stand up early. So it's really about that move into there, and that's pulling everything down. And then she's got to make sure that she feels the hand staying through the shot. As the club face is the hand. Really, there's no reason why you'd be doing that unless you're actually standing up. So if she's controlling the club face with her hand, and she's just stepping into the shot, pushing down and then turning rather than standing up, and she's keeping her hand coming through, then there shouldn't be any way that she can get that one over to the right. So she thought that she was standing a bit too close, I think it's more a case of not going into that position and kind of standing up too soon. So let's see from down the line. Okay, so from down the line, we're really good. it doesn't have to be a huge swing. You can get the 100 yards without any trouble there. That move into that left heel brings us down and she's just making sure this is on top of the ball. And perfect strike. So I think when she's doing that move and getting it into that position, she always hits it straight. When she lets everything go, not synced out, just stands up and it just goes, because the club face is not going over the ball, it's opened like that. Okay, see how she does. Left heel, the tra transition, okay. Smidgen left, but certainly no shank. Okay, good shot. 
Yeah, very nice, about 120. Okay, good shot. It's gone a long way. Let's keep the... Oh, magic. Now we had the club head really swinging through. The momentum of the, the hinge you've set up really got it down nice there. So I think we've fixed the shank to the right and as long as I stay in my posture and just swing at a nice tempo then um, I think I'll be fine. So thanks for watching this video guys and click the thumbs up button, subscribe and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Yes, okay.